I realized that I've been signing off all my videos with and for more reviews on movies, anime and video games, except for I haven't really reviewed that many anime recently. Then lo and behold, Netflix announces a great recommendation for an anime called Demon Slayer. I thought, yeah, let's give it a go, see what happens. Let's do it. Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer is this gory yet quite comedic action shonen anime. And when I say shonen anime, if you've seen things like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Bleach or One Piece, you kind of get the genre I'm talking about. We follow this young boy who lives up in the mountains who has his entire family slaughtered by demons and to also find that his sister's been turned into one. And so we begin this quest for him to find a cure to turn his sister back into a human and in doing so, joins up to become a demon slayer. It starts off as a simple premise which, over the course of these 26 episodes, slowly becomes this broader and larger world which, I can't help but say, was great to watch. Maybe don't binge the show like I did, otherwise you might come out like Robin Williams and Jumanji just going, What year is it? And for those concerned, this is going to be a spoiler free review, so don't worry about me spilling any of the good stuff for you. But I want to kick off with what kind of won me over with the show in the first place, and that is the visuals. And my god, the animation is great here. Characters have these bold outlinings with these clear, intense colours that almost make it feel like an old school Japanese calligraphy that's been brought to life. And for the most part, especially where it matters, the animation is so fluid and fast paced. We've seen it done in a lot of other shows, but in a very janky way and it's far more noticeable. But they do well to blend both of these frameworks of 3D animation and 2D hand drawing to create this visual that's just pleasing to the eye. As for the story itself, it's a little bit less of a strong point, but certainly not a bad one either. It's nothing original that you haven't seen before with your typical anime tropes such as ranked numbered bad guys with power spikes and unique abilities. But in some cases it does find ways to do the unexpected and turn a lot of these things on its head. The beginning of the final episode in this series, my god, was absolutely incredible to watch. I wish I could talk a bit more about it, but I don't want to ruin it for everyone. But let's just say that this show uses its 15 rating really well for its story. Especially with the demons in particular. Some of the designs are just fascinating to look at. And then you combine this with head crushing and decapitation and limb ripping and this show just isn't afraid to be brutal when it needs to be. The main character is compelling enough to root for and the side characters that you meet along the way are humorous and refreshing enough to keep the journey interesting. One noticeable bad point for me however was the he monologuing. And God is there a loss of it in here. We all know how a good rule of thumb for storytelling is show, don't tell, and we can all name loads of examples which have done the exact opposite. However, this show seems to do both. <laughs> it has quite a lot of moments where it feels the need to over explain itself. We see these cool intense moments happening only for the main character to then describe it exactly word for word. It makes for a bit of reputation and a few no shit Sherlock moments. And that aspect of this takes quite a bit to warm up to. It does start out quite annoying in the first few episodes, but as you dive deeper into the show, you become more and more willing to look past it. I don't know what his name is off the top of my head, but this dude is very annoying in particular. But like a few other aspects of the show, as you watch it, it becomes more fleshed out and less irritating. I watched the show in English dub, as it's available on Netflix in the moment, and for the most part, I can say they did a really good job. There's a few moments where it falls flat, as there's a lot of scenes with screaming and horror and shouting in a crisis. And that can sometimes be hard to convey, I get that. But to give credit to these voice actors, you can tell that everyone is just giving it their all. We also get some familiar voice actors here, such as the voice actor for Ichigo in Bleach, as well as the voice actor for Eren in Attack on Titan. I haven't seen the show in Japanese with subtitles yet myself, but for those that usually enjoy that medium more, I can imagine that's going to be the same again. I haven't really talked about the music yet, have I? I mean, the, the music's really good. A couple of times throughout the show, it kind of hit me how the sound effects and the background score were just so in tune with what was going on around it. There are some really original pieces in here which to me just stood out and were a great addition to the show. But yeah, I suppose my bottom line here is that this is just a really great series to sink your teeth into. If you're into gritty shows that mix in a bit of humour like Akamega Kill, or also just like shows that have their unique distinct art styles similar to Attack on Titan, 
then I think you're really going to enjoy the show. But yeah, that's it for me here today, guys. Thanks a lot for listening. Let me know if you've seen Demon Slayer, what your thoughts on it might be. Let me know in the comments below. And if you did like this video, please feel free to show your support by leaving a like or subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews on movies, anime, and video games. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.